Linoleic acid drives inflammation only when converted into lipid peroxide. I think too many people misunderstand the relationship of linoleic acid to inflammation. What they do know is that linoleic acid can be converted into arachidonic acid. And then arachidonic acid can be converted into pro-inflammatory and pro-clotting molecules like prostaglandins and thromboxanes. Prostaglandins, hormones created by chemical reaction at the injury site. Unlike other hormones, which are messengers, prostaglandins are not secreted from a gland, but are created at the time and at the site where needed. Thrombochains are lipid eicosanoids. Two major types, A1 and A2, helps in blood clot formation. And, and so that because that pathway exists, they assume that linoleic acid is pushing that pathway forward. And, and that doesn't happen. Um, linoleic acid is converted to arachidonic acid by nature of regulatory enzymes. And, and, and it's, it's a need-based system. So we're breaking down linoleic acid into these potential pro-inflammatory metabolites as the cell may need them. And the cell does need them. These are molecules that are essential to survival. Inflammation, of course, is essential to re recovery and, and healing and immunity. I don't think this is a system we can push forward with more linoleic acid. Because remember, linoleic acid has alternative fates, including just simply being burned for energy, which mitochondria do perfectly well. Whether it goes into arachidonic acid and then so on or further depends on the need and the activation of those regulatory enzymes to actually pull that process along. If linoleic acid is in fact promoting inflammation, and it very well could, <clears throat> I would say it's likely because of its conversion into um, lipid peroxides. And we know that macrophages will very hungrily engulf lipid peroxides, immediately sensing this peroxide as a harmful pathogenic molecule, and then doing its job, it will engulf them, and then it will become a foam cell as it has engulfed too much. This lipid peroxide will start to activate. Uh, the macrophage is essentially saying, hey, there's too much of this, I need help, and that is inflammation. It's when one immune cell starts to call out for help from other immune cells, and now we have systemic inflammation. So if linoleic acid is driving inflammation, it's because of it, it having been converted into a lipid peroxide the macrophage, without a doubt, engulfs that, and that would then in turn stimulate inflammation throughout the body. So I don't think it's a direct effect. I think if you remove the immune cell, uh, the phagocyte, eating that lipid peroxide, I don't think there is inflammation. Macrophage, immune system white blood cell that engulfs and digests anything that doesn't have on its surface proteins that are specific to healthy body cells. Phagocyte cell type that has the ability to ingest or digest foreign particles, such as bacteria, carbon, dust, or dye. I, and I fall into this trap too, speaking of oxidation and inflammation as if they're one and the same, which I, they're not, they're completely not, but sometimes yeah. we get lazy and talk about them as one thing. Linoleic acid drives inflammation only when converted into lipid peroxide. Many people misunderstand the relationship of linoleic acid to inflammation. Linoleic acid can be converted into arachidonic acid. Arachidonic acid can be converted into pro-inflammatory and pro-clotting molecules like prostaglandins and thrombochains. Prostaglandins, hormones created by chemical reaction at the injury site. Unlike other hormones, which are messengers, prostaglandins are not secreted from a gland, but are created at the time and at the site where needed. Thrombochains are lipid eicosanoids. Two major types, A1 and A2, helps in blood clot formation. Because this pathway exists, people assume linoleic acid is pushing the pathway forward. That does not happen. Linoleic acid is converted into arachidonic acid by nature of regulatory enzymes. It is a need-based system. These are molecules that are essential for survival. Inflammation is essential in its role in recovery, healing, immunity. 
this is not a system we can push forward by adding more linoleic acid. Linoleic acid has alternative fates being burned for energy by mitochondria. Whether it goes into arachidonic acid and further depends on the need, activation of regulatory enzymes to pull the process along. If linoleic acid is promoting inflammation, Dr. Bickman says, I say it is because of its conversion into lipid peroxides. Macrophages will engulf lipid peroxides, sensing that they are pathogenic. It becomes a foam cell calling for help. That is inflammation. Systemic inflammation, when one immune cell begins to call for help from other immune cells. If linoleic acid is driving inflammation, it is because it has converted into lipid peroxide. Macrophage engulfs it, stimulating inflammation. Linoleic acid causing inflammation is not a direct effect. If you remove the phagocyte cell eating that lipid peroxide, then, Dr. Bickman says, I don't think there is inflammation. Macrophage. Immune system white blood cell that engulfs and digests anything that doesn't have on its surface proteins that are specific to healthy body cells. Phagocyte, cell type that has the ability to ingest or digest foreign particles such as bacteria, carbon, dust, or dye. Dr. Schur concludes, I fall into this trap too, speaking of oxidation and inflammation, as if they are the same, and they are not. Annotated and summarized. Easy to share with loved ones. The description below the title for this video has these summary points.